Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? Welcome back to Charles's Movie Room, and today I have a board game bento box. It's a box of board games every month. This is going to be the last box I do of this for a little bit here. I'll explain why at the end of the video. But to start, let's get into it. I'm excited to see what's in this month. I have no idea what the theme is because last box we got didn't have a card in it. So I'm hoping this one has a card in it. Which it does. The theme is Twisted Creatures. First up is Zombie Slam. We'll take a look at that here in a second. Org Cheerleaders. And then the Village Cron. Cron. We'll take a look at all these games in just a second here. As I get, try to get the box out of the way. Alright, I'm a big fan of monster movies, the main reason being how much variety there is in the genre. That's There's horror, of course, but also even straight up scary movies have different types. Psychological horror, or body horror, movie monsters are often separated by subgenres in the this month's games. Definitely capture the idea to capture a parody of prolific horror film, a tour, M. Night Shyamalan, what a twisted creature. First game... It's about a literally a twisted creature, the village Kron by Fireside Games. Finally, a game that lets you turn pheasants into newts, well, frogs, but close enough in a game about gathering spell components. It's nice to see game components that stand out, bringing your witch's spells to life, and also an alternate way to determine first player. May I suggest player who catch, who crack, crackles longest? Alright, so let's look at this game first alrighty one to six players ages 13 and up $50 MSRP is from Fireside Games. Here's a rule book and a correction. Here are all of the boards. <coughs> and then we have books of spells. From different characters, Beatrice, Elspeth, Lavrina, Hefanzba, Scorcha, and Rowena. And then you have a bag of some different plastic parts. And then you have some cards. And then you have some silver cards, and then you have some fire cards. It's definitely, it looks interesting. So, the stuff is flying everywhere. I'll put all that back in later on here. That is the Village Chrome. Next up is games of a certain age probably have found memories of popping in a VHS tape to play certain horror games. Somehow, somehow the market for VCR enhanced board games bottom out, but the peril never went away. The appeal never went away. Zombie Slam by Mercy Games is a modest twist on that 80s staple, adding a free app-based assistance to it. Zombie survival game. Alrighty.
Free optional iOS Android app assistance. Gotta get into the box first. So here is the rule book, talks about the app. Here's some stuff to punch out. And then there are some cards. I'm not exactly for sure what you're supposed to be doing in this game. I don't know if the app. Zombie Slime is a competitive game for three to six players in which they are trying to live through zombie apocalypse by being faster than the other survivors. Don't, but don't worry. If you fail, you can always try to win as one of the freshly risen undead. Interesting. I like zombie games a lot. Can't wait to try this one out. I like also games that have some app components. So this is Zombie Slam. And then last but not least is Or Cheerleaders. Finally, we have a game with green giants twisting through the air and Or Cheerleaders by Paw Warrior Games. Now, as much as I like the people at Paw Warrior and enjoy their um, Brahia games, I do not expect to like this new game. Luckily, I played it at Gen Con and changed my mind. It's fast, encourages focus, and it was easy to track various elements because of how I'm sure the theme is. So, here you go. Or Cheerleaders cheering all as good as they smell. It's for eight ages 8 plus, 2-ish players, 5 to 10 minutes. So it's a very quick card game. Alrighty, so that is Twisted Creatures. Next month is a first publisher spotlight. El Elio spotlight. I might actually have to redo this box. I'm interested to see what they do for just one company spotlight. Um, I know some Elio games, and so it'll be interesting to see. So I might have to redo this box for an additional month just to see what happens. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. The reason I've canceled this box is because I'm going to do a horror pack box, which is a four Blu-ray movies every month. Um, you get, like I said, four Blu-ray movies that are horror genre. I'm um, interested to see. I'm not a big horror genre fan, but I'm interested to see. I've watched a bunch of the unboxings, and it seems like some of the movies I would like, and I mean, I, I love collecting Blu-rays and all that stuff, so just add them to the collection, see what I get, do that for three months, I did it for three months, so do that for three months, and then we'll go from there, but I might have to get this box for the Elio Game Spotlight. Thank you so much for watching, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, I already said all that nonsense, I'll see you in the next video, bye for now.